Make una come here with the chief Ayo Adebajo talk about an actual man and what he do for this past general election. My correct, correct people, we greet Suna. We welcome Una to DJM TV. We are Bunget so we and update the channel. So if you don't ever subscribe to our YouTube channel, make una hurry now and go subscribe and also turn on the notification bell. So at any time we like say we drop any update like this, Una go then notify sharp me. And make una not forget to follow us on our Facebook page. Anyway, my people, make we go be run, enter the story and update who we carry on for una. Chief Ayo Adebanjo will be Nigerian lawyer, politician, activist, and also the head of Yoruba social political organization. Don't talk strong thing concerning democracy and the drama will happen for Abiola days and how the whole history don't take repeat again with Mahmoud will be INEC chairman relating with everything we play for this past general election. Make I not talk so much, make I leave Una, make Una watch the interview when you do with Arise News and hear all we say so. Struggled on, but a person like myself, the battle is not won yet. Those who believe um, they have done some periphery recognition of Abiola and the struggle for YouTube, they will be right. But what was the purpose? What was this fighting for? YouTube was principally a struggle for recognition of the voters to show that they are vote that those do count. As uh, the son of Abiola said, that was the first time in this country that people voted irrespective of religion or ethnicity. And mind you, I don't know any very very many people will remember that after referring the the that they could then uh uh is not our fan, it's not it doesn't belong to our party. But because he won the election free and fair. We supported him. But Baba Gina, Baba Gina was. What Baba Gina did for us at that time is what Mahmoud has done for us at this time. That's why I say we have not learned the lessons. To allow vote to count. Let the voters vote count. And that's why we are still in this struggle. But and that's why I say the battle continues until we allow votes to count and the electorate to enjoy the fruit of the vote. Adibanjo, thank you very much indeed for your insights tonight. Uh, the military incursion uh, into a democratic journey slowed us down in no small measure. Uh, talk to us about how we can refine this experience, this history, this part of our democratic history, right, to uh, actually enjoy the dividends of democracy. Military culture is always an aberration. The, the less, the, 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 the better we forget about the military regime, the better. The, 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 military, the military recursion is the problem we are solving it today. They put on aside what the, the democratic principles of the country. No rule of law. No democracy, things are done by fiat, no respect for personality, and all that. So, but by the time they came back and said they are going back to the barracks, that was what brought the deco in. That if you are going back to the barracks, go back to the barracks with the constitution you imposed on us. The constitution we are fighting on now is not our constitution. It is not the constitution we had at independence. The one that it was endorsed by Aulawa, Azikwe, and Savdana. That one was truncated in 1966 by the military. And we are still on, 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 on it today. That was why, by the time we are going to do 1999 election, FNF refused to take part. And Bab Salam had to convince our leader then. Senator Abraham Adesoya, 
to take part because they can't afford any election at that time without the Yoruba taking part. As a matter of fact, by the law of the military at that time, the Alliance of Democracy under which platform we contested the election was not qualified to be registered because they have to be registered all over the country and we haven't got the money. Absalom told them, go and register Alliance of Democracy if you don't want trouble. That was why we are registered. And when we are, when we are registered, and we, and we said, there must be a change of the constitution before we go to the election. Because we don't believe that these people will, will change the constitution after the, if the military is still there. Absalom is still alive. He says, he's not going to wait for that. When I when you go back to a similar regime, you do the change of the constitution to democratic principle. Because the military constitution imposed on us was unitary. It's all the diversity of religion and and uh, and, and, uh, and ethnicity in the country. All right, Chief Adebanjo, that, you sorry to cut sorry to cut in there uh, very quickly. Uh, I, I believe you listened to President Tinubu's uh, speech today. I wonder what impressions uh, that left you with. I didn't and I, listen. I didn't you, listen. You, you didn't. didn't okay. Listen. Okay. Great. Let I me, didn't listen to his speech. Tell me. Right. Let me just take uh, paragraph 13, you know, just to address uh, the points that you made uh, earlier. They were still fighting for the integrity of the electoral process. Uh, he said, those who cannot endure and accept the pain of defeat in elections do not deserve the joy of victory when it is their turn to triumph. Above all, those who disagree with the outcome of the elections are taking full advantage of the constitutional uh, provisions to seek uh, redress. What's your understanding of that point? Is it making some kind of veiled, uh, you know, statement to those who are not satisfied with the outcome of the election that they say was more or less uh, rigged? And President Bola Tinubu, incidentally, 30 years after the whole June 12 debacle, he is president today. What do you make of that? Is it providence that set in? What are your impressions? <laughs> Well, I'm one, of, I'm one of those who disagree, by the way, he gets there. If he gets there fair and square, I will be very happy. Because it was through me that God made him the governor of Lagos State. But I don't believe in an election that is not free and fair. That is only the problem. He's a capable young man. If not, I would have made him the governor. But the struggle of Afel Ferry and Nadeko is that we want a good government that's acceptable to the people. We don't want any election re Anything based on the wrong foundation cannot succeed. That is the problem. Uh, we've listened to you tonight, but then we won't let you go without uh, asking you this. Now that we have the democracy that we have been clamoring for, perhaps the next popular call is a call for true federalism. So how then can we uh, make, talk us through how we can make this democracy a true federalism? If you listen to our own struggles from the world go, why we are supporting Peter Obi and why we are supporting the destruction of the country, uh, uh, destruction of the country back to federalism, that is the only thing that can bring peace to the country. It's on that basis that people like Bola uh, Tinubu, Shoshoba came into office. And that was what we are insisting upon that for peace and quiet, this country must be restructured back to federalism. Whatever program any problem has now, be it to be, be it a uh, article, the first thing to be done on uh, anybody that was confirmed as the president is to restructure the country back to federalism. Notwithstanding any program you have, that will take care of the minority problem, it will take care of religion problem, it will take care of uh, identity and everything. The key thing in this country is back to federalism. And uh, people are just pretending. I, I learned to emphasize here. 
Anybody say ethnicity or religion does not matter. It's the same yourself. And we realize that, that we will solve that problem by having a federal constitution that recognizes the development of each unit on its own space, to develop at its own space, on, 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 to respect your religion, your, your, your culture, and your, your language. You will get peace. All of that is just fake. And anybody say, oh, for unity, you do something that is united. Don't let us go into that. Well, if you are here for restructuring, for the type of constitution, it's another matter. Time won't allow us for that. But I'd like to emphasize that whatever we are doing, either now or anything, this, this construct, this, this, this the, 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 the building of the country on the truly federal constitution that made every federal unit equal, no discrimination. That is the only case. Right, so that's a good... Hey, my people, don't be smart, you know. This man, <laughs> he don't talk, not be smart concerning the old election, I neck, matter, all of them. Anyway, my friend, the update will carry come from now like this bit is we're gonna drop in a comment and I'll send a reason I'll make you forget to like and share. When I do well, see you in your next video. DJ TV. DJ TV.